Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we ain't camping. We're taking a little break from camping this weekend. Although we've been having a lot of fun in the new boat. But, uh, we're going to try to take a break and try to do a few upgrades to the boat this weekend. Get her fit just a little bit better. If y'all watched the, what it was, last video, second to last video, old catfish took my pole out my boat. Thought it was gone, but Lil G managed to snag it up for me. So, we're gonna be adding a couple pole holders. And I got some uh, lights to put on in the front for driving at night. Got a couple square LED lights and I'm gonna get the big one I had on the little boat. Probably gonna put that on here. That way if we wanna do a little night running, we'll have plenty of light to see what's going on in front of us. So that's our mission for this weekend. Try to get some of that done. So, y'all check out my little cup. Y'all can go swing by our little online store we have these and a few other little things so i'll leave a link down below if you want to go check out some more merchandise but let's spin y'all around oh pop from uh boondocking cajun style said he dug in his shed and he found a couple pole holders he wasn't using so he sent them to us and then my buddy from Smokeroo had a few extra lights laying around that he uh, sent to us, which I think will be perfect for the boat. So I'd like to thank them guys for hooking us up. But uh, I got some wires to run, figure out where I want to mount the lights and these pole holders up. So. Catch on a little bit. Old Limpkin searching for some apple snails. Had a duck this morning, now the old Limpkin. Alright now. Trying to figure out where I want these at. Thinking one right here. And we probably gonna put one right around right here so go get my wool drill get my drill got the old hole saw up in there go drill that out and set them pole holders up in there i think that's gonna be a really nice addition and hopefully we won't lose any more poles Check it out. Oh yeah. Think that's gonna work. So I'll go ahead and do the other side. Second one mounted. So that's one thing off the list. Alright. Well, y'all can see we got both them rod holders put on. And he did send a couple others. These right here. 
but these mount to like a railing or something eventually I'm gonna have a railing around the back porch on the back deck I will have a railing eventually be put out back there so that'll be perfect for that but we got that done now I'm gonna go pull off my big light that I had on the old boat we'll go pull it off figure out where I want to mount that at right got my mount got her off the big boot now i'm gonna measure the center mold that and we're gonna drill that hole get a little bit of silicone before I bolt it down put some silicone up in the hole make sure to seal that hole up so I'll be right back Right. Well, got it installed. So it's about all I'm gonna do for right now. We got a graduation party to go run to. But when I get back this evening, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole to run the wire into the cab and try to wire it all up. So we'll catch y'all back later this evening. All right, guys. Good morning once again. We ended up going do that little deal yesterday. Had a pretty good time. Seen a lot of people we ain't seen in a long time. But uh, I ain't end up like coming back on the boat doing anything. But this morning, we could go ahead and do what I don't want to do, drill a hole through the boat to run wires. So we'll try to get that front headlight, get the wire ran inside, hooked up to the switch, and then figure out what I want to do for the back, for the back porch. I'm trying to decide if I want to use uh, these right here for docking lights in the back on the corners or put them on the front on each corner kind of making my uh my view a little wider at night towards the front but I think for now I might hold back on that I got some other small lights I want to put on the back to kind of light up the back deck and maybe one in the front kind of like some little not real bright, but just enough to illuminate the decks. So we might work on that. But I guess for now, I'll go ahead and pop a hole through the front wall. Show y'all what I got. I started it with a little hole saw. So y'all can see right at the tip of my finger. So I wanna take a little small bit and go through and then come from the outside with the hole saw so I don't bust the plywood out drilling from inside out and once I start all the trimming getting to the trim work in here I'm gonna build a box right here 
that all my wires are gonna run through and hopefully I can get it to where I can remove this cap to be able to run wires in and out because I know I got a few more wires that's gonna have to go outside I got uh, my VHF radio antenna wire gotta go out maybe a FM AM FM radio antenna once I get a GPS on here, I'm gonna have the GPS antenna's gonna have to go out through there. So still got quite a few wires that's gonna make their way through. Uh, possibly TV antenna, which is depending on where that's mounted at. That's gonna go through there or maybe somewhere out back. If I go that route, don't know if I'm gonna put a TV but it would be nice to catch a couple local stations to check on weather and whatnot. So anyways, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and refill my coffee. We're gonna get to drilling, start running wiring, and get our uh, driving lights hooked up. So, catch y'all then. All right, I'm refueled up. Go ahead and pull this old hose off. I'm gonna put this little pilot bit. Drill that through the wall, and then we're gonna go outside and come from the inside, from the outside in, with the hose off. So let's get that done. There that is. So I'm gonna go switch back to the hole saw and we're gonna go outside. Alright. I ain't got nowhere to put the camera for y'all, but y'all can see what I'm doing. So we got the little hole saw bit. Go ahead and make this hole. Man, I hate drilling holes through this boat. <laughs> Let's go. Got the hole drilled out. And what I have here, the little rubber plug. I'm gonna pass the wires through this and then jam it in like so. And once I'm finished running most of the wires that I need to run, then I'll go ahead and seal this solid. But uh, for now, we're gonna leave it open. I'll stuff a little rag in there because I'm only gonna have that one wire for now. But once I'm done running wires, then we'll go ahead and seal it up, but that'll work for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that wire through, run the wire through here, and get that wire ran inside, and make its way to the switch panel. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's spin you a little bit. I don't know if this glare gonna mess me up. I don't know. These lights kind of put off some weird glare to my ladies. Kind of hold to find a good spot. Hey, right, let's try that. It's just running wires anyway. <laughs> Ain't nothing major. And of course, I'm gonna put the plug backwards. Spin that around. There we go. Alright, let's 
check that out. Ain't too bad of a little deal. Big old light right there. I just gotta worm them wires down through here. Get that curtain out my way. Run them behind the steering box. Make my way to the switch panel. Took it out the old boat, left the water it had on it. <laughs> it looked like it might be long enough to make it. But I need to be able to come down and cut across back here. And that way once I build this box and all that right here, all the models will be hidden. Whenever I decide to start trimming the inside out, then I'm probably gonna put that foam board insulation and then come over the top with something light and then trim everything. My plan is to trim, trim out everything in Cypress. So give it a pretty good look, little cabin feel. So anyways, I'll get to routing this wire and uh, see what we get. tie wraps I'm using they come with a screw tab to be able to secure them so that's pretty nice when you're trying to run the wires a little uh, tie wrap with a screw tab works pretty well so we're getting closer all right got it wired up to this switch panel the way I got this set up at the moment this switch panel runs off the engine battery which is mainly stuff when I'm gonna be running under power. So I put this switch panel right here for that type of stuff. Running lights, nav lights, uh, VHF radio, stuff like that is gonna go on this one. This one's the panel for the cabin, interior lights and of course the little backup camera and different little things that I use on the cabin not to worry about draining my starting battery so let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what it is alright there we have it one more small project complete on the boat. Now I'm gonna think about what I wanna do in the back. I got some little lights I may install, so. Let me pawn on this a minute. Fill it around back there. See where I wanna run this, uh, put these lights. Couple options, I thought about underneath the deck, shining down and lighting up the walk space. I don't know. Down here in South Louisiana, you click a light on at night and the bugs, they can get pretty thick coming for that light. So I don't know if it would be better mounting underneath the catwalks and just illuminating the floor instead of a direct light out in the open, but I'll ponder on it. Might even do it both ways. So sip a little more coffee and think about it. All right, poop. A little update. Of what's going on? I was gonna mount them little lights out there, but I'm running out of wire, so I only had enough wire to run for my uh, anchor light. 
So I figured the anchor light's a little more important than them little deck lights, so. And also that anchor light puts out enough light for now that it'll light up the back deck by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. Y'all can see already got it ran across here, down to the switch panel. And right now I'm just kinda putting a little wrap of tape. You kinda start neating this up a little bit. I got it ran out going out the back. Same hole as the backup camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to neaten this wire up a little bit. And what's gonna happen here, when I decide to get to the trim, is I'm gonna put a uh, molding at a 45 degree angle along this whole beam. And these wires will be tucked up in there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use trim screws to attach it. That way if I ever need to pull more wire through or get to something, I'll do that. I would like to have everything screwed anywhere I got wiring or anything I need to maybe access later on to be screwed with some access panels. And I'm probably going to do something similar across the front right here. Thinking of adding on to this, adding on to this board about right here and coming up with a face plate that I can face mount my VHF radio. If I put an AM FM radio, it can face mount and also be able to pop off to get to the wire and back up in there. I think it'll be a cleaner little look with face mounted stuff. So trying to keep the clutter down as best as I could in such a small space. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll keep wrapping these wires together, getting them from hanging all over. And then I'm gonna go outside and figure out how I wanna do my nav light. Uh, anchor light. I definitely wanted to be able to fold down for whenever we go close to trees or park close to trees and stuff so I don't knock it clean over the top of the boat. But we'll run this. We'll bring y'all back. All right, guys. Let me show you what we're working on right now. I got my anchor light from the other boat, which was a stab into that plug tape. Well, I pulled the plug out the end and came up with this contraption. A couple of electrical conduit parts and I made a swivel bracket. So that'll allow me to lay this thing down, lay it down or have it up. This is gonna bolt through the roof in the back. So, I don't know, instead of buying me a light with the bracket on it, well, I already had this one. We're gonna make it work. So I already drilled the hole through the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, hook the wires up, and see if we got an anchor light. All right, folks, I got the uh, anchor light installed. It's wired up, I've already tested it comes on when I flip the switch. But I want to show y'all something. What I did this weekend. Two pole holders I put in. Put my front spotlight on. My anchor light on. And y'all look at this. It just amazes me. How many tools it take to do a couple simple tasks so I'm getting this mess all cleaned up get everything picked up and then I'll swing out and show y'all how the light came out up there so let me get busy cleaning up all this mess and we'll catch y'all back then all right folks I'm back got most of my tools all picked up just got my drill out and uh I'm gonna go walk outside right quick, show y'all how that little contraption of a swivel bracket I made is working out. And then, uh, I think after it gets dark, we'll go ahead and come back out and we're gonna light her up, man, see how she does. 
So let's take a little walk outside. There it is. Look like it'll go work pretty good. Not too bad for a little Cajun ingenuity. Man, it swivels down flat on the roof. In case we're going in some spots with branches and whatnot. Because y'all y'all see we like to pull up to the bank sometimes. And it's hard to find a perfect spot where they ain't got limbs hanging over. So we'll just fold it down. But anyways, that's where we at. So once it get dark, we'll bring y'all back out. And we're going to light her up. Hey right, folks pretty dark out not pitch dark yet but dark enough so let's go check it out see how this is working out I don't know how good the camera picks it up, but you can see it lighting up way down there. Take a little walk. Look like my camera's fogging a little bit on me. Let me wipe y'all off. There we go. Anyway, there she is. Oh yeah. All right, folks. As y'all can see, look like that spotlight's gonna do pretty good. I know I couldn't get it very good in this camera, but you still can see it throwing that light out there. But it does work pretty good. Camera was kind of fogging up, I guess, from being in the air condition going out. But y'all get the idea. So anyways, that's gonna about wrap this weekend up. Got a few little upgrades done. Much needed upgrades, especially them pole holders. So that's where we at right now with the boat. And next time, we'll be back out on the water. Make us a few more weekends in here. And then we'll do a little more to it. So we're gonna keep pecking at it a little at a time, play a little bit, work a little bit on it. More playing probably. But uh So I appreciate y'all hanging out. You know I got a lot of new subscribers joining us. So I wanna thank y'all for coming. So until next time, y'all take it easy. And hopefully we'll see y'all next round out on the water. Peace.